Hello! I couldn't work out how to change the animation speed on it, so... Hi. Hi. Filmmaking. Topic very close to our hearts. But who is responsible for turning filmmaking into film made? Well, I gave that a little bit of thought, and I figured, probably, the director. Yeah. They direct things. They make the direction go. Uh, my favourite director is, of course, you, and yours is? Uh, David Fincher, probably. Yep. Um, so how does a director do this? How do they make the audience believe? lie right they lie but like a nice lie like you know like a magician would lie to you he'd tell you hey look over there and then he he runs away or something i didn't i didn't research magicians but i wanted to try some of these filmmaking lies today so uh i did a little bit of research and i gathered a few of them together some potential ideas here they are um actors crying we haven't done that thought we could do some fake tears Sure. Um, raining. It's like the sky crying. Think about it. Uh, we could do that thing where, you know, there's like an earthquake and everyone goes, whoa, like that, all in unison. Or you're on a bridge of a starship and a missile hits it and everyone, like that, all together. Or the bit in Inception when they're in a cocktail bar and everything goes diagonal. That thing. It's not got a name, is it? I, I tried looking, I, I, I couldn't really, I just thought that, that thing, I'd do the demonstration, I knew, I knew you'd understand. Go on. So, you up for that? Sure. Great. Good. Bye. Yeah, no, I didn't, I forgot to add that frame. Okay, um, let's start with the weather. Fake rain. How are we going to do that? Watering can. Watering can. And a ladder. And a ladder. A hose. Don't need the ladder. Don't need the ladder. Already cutting corners. There we go. A shower. They're inside, mate. A glass of water. Yeah, a bit of a very selective downpour. It is. It rained for like one second. On one person on in one, one person. place. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right, let's, let's do some experimenting. Okay. So, already raining, that's annoying, darn that mother nature. Good effect though, wasn't it? It was a good effect. It wasn't us though. But just not us. Let's try a different one, I guess. We'll move on. Move on. Crying? You feeling sad? Pretty much. You this feel... video is going wrong, so, you know, boo-hoo. Not much of a crier, are you? Not really. Like, I don't even really cry at films. I'm just soulless. That's, I believe. Just try. You're not looking at the horizon or something. I don't, I don't know what, what what it is. It's called being sad, Jack. Okay, if I stare long enough, maybe my eyes will water. I don't think the trick is. I don't think you can do that in a film. Maybe try like a put your hands in your on your face kind of cry. I'll just like cover a, it up. Cover it all up. <laughs> <laughs> Any tips? You buying it? <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not either. I don't think I'm the one for this. Maybe, maybe we should. Uh... Tag team! Channel those emotions. Help me. Give me some, um, some stimulus. You know like when you when you go down some cereal and you pour out the cereal and then you realise you have no milk? Oh. You, you're working on something and the programme crashes and you haven't, you haven't saved in like, like, in like three hours. That's anger, that's anger. Oh, uh, you're making me angry, Jack. You, you've got a hole in your sock. Your toe keeps poking through, and it's just like, oh, that's, that feels horrible. Oh, it's got a breeze on it now. But that that scene in Up, where the old man's lost his wife. Keep coming. That, the, that footage of the, the polar bear, and he hasn't had any food, and he all looks like gaunt, and... He's so sad. He's so sad. <laughs> this isn't really working, is it? Not really, no. Uh, the existential dread that you're going to die alone. That just got way too real. 
See, weirdly, laughing makes my eyes water a little bit. Well, there we, maybe, maybe we go for the laugh approach. Oh, <laughs> Anything? <laughs> Watching the scene from up. So happy at the start, they're all in love. Ah, uh, nothing, I'm heartless. Uh, <laughs> I really thought we had something then. <laughs> yeah. Seeing as I have no soul and we cannot rely on my emotions, we're going to use a more chemical approach. Daniel Day Lewis uh, loved onion sandwiches, right? That's how he does it. Yeah. Chris here is protected. Just don't want to, you know, got to focus on the camera work, right? It can't be. That's how all the directors do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all wearing goggles after Daddy Day Lewis has eaten his onion sandwiches. Because <laughs> really, isn't it meant to be that the onions are crying? They're like, ah, stop jumping me! And then we react to their cries by crying. That the side behind it. I'm not sure if it's just feeling sorry for them or. I'm getting nothing here, guys. Maybe try like putting your head closer to the chopping board as you're chopping. Anything? No. Makes my mouth unhappy. Shall I have a go? Yeah. Hang on. You're gonna need these. I don't. I obviously don't. Hmm. Getting anything? Onion. Now I'm going to try a different technique. Mm. This is a terrible grater. It's because it's got a skin on it. Oh, hello. Hello. You getting something? Hello. Something's happening. Oh, you're welling up. Act sad. My dog. My dog just... My dog just ate my cat. Hold on, hold on, I'm not sad enough. My dog. You can't act with that in front of your face. <laughs> I'm practicing. My dog. Oh, oh! You got oh, it! We got I'm it! Don't it. be so funny about it. About it. I mean, <laughs> I can't even open my eyes now. Oh, I'll get more tears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, can't, I can't see you! Derek, uh, you look like you've been maced. Uh, <laughs> ow, it's, it's never ending! I could have just killed my brother. He was an onion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut up camera, man. Sorry. Uh, mate, it's got. You, you, what is it with you and the skin? Mm. You can't. Oh, stop that! Oh my! Oh my! Oh, please! I can see a bit of onion skin on your face. <laughs> Do I look good? You don't look good. You look. You look horrific. But Do I look like I've been crying lots? Yeah. Well, when you don't squint like that, maybe. <sighs> it's near impossible. People do that thing when they cry, don't they? When they try and talk, but it's like unintentional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had my eyes shut for some time now. I think some real tears built up. You ready for the roll? Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, look you're that. going. Look at, look at that go. Oh. Oh, I can feel the. Oh, and the other eye. <laughs> you smell a lot like onions, though. <laughs> Success! What do you want for lunch? Not that. So, it is now the next day. Why is it the next day, Chris? Couldn't stop crying. Why could you not stop crying, Chris? Rubbed onion on my face. Was that a stupid idea, Chris? Yes, Chris. But, actually, it turned out alright because it's no longer raining. So, kind of, a good idea. All part of the master plan. Yes. So let's get it now raining again. It's quite contained, isn't it? I mean, when it's windy, you need to aim a bit off. 
If I zoom into it, yeah, it looks like rain. It's a bit heavy, actually. It's almost too much rain. Look at that. That looks like a rainy door, if I ever did see one. Don't... What, Jack? I have cameras. <laughs> I'm all out of rain. you got to do some evaporation. Come on, come back up here. Does this make you a big grey cloud? Well, now, now I'm a white cloud because I don't have any rain in there. Or do they just disappear? <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> This is the professional setup, this is how they do it in the industry. It's called the old clamp to a tripod hose technique. Yep. Should we just try a demo test now? Let's try a demo test. Rain. Yeah. Okay, uh, rain test one. <laughs> That's really cold. It's, oh, it's torrential rain all of a sudden now. My, my, my new, Shorts, summer shorts are getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What kind of rain is this? <sighs> Whose idea was this? Yours. <laughs> Great. Right, rain's done. Got to get on with some earthquakes. Ah! You almost hit the camera in my face. Right. So I guess one of the easiest techniques is to just do a bit of camera, camera shake. shake. Which way do I go? You go to the right. Whoa. I mean, no, that's I'm doing it wrong. All right, go. What? Wait, oh. Are you going that way? Okay, so. uh, that? I mean, yeah, your, your acting needs a bit more improvement. Oh, sorry, yeah, I didn't realise we were actually... Is this it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're rolling. If I did a sharp, uh, like that, ooh. Uh. You got ten. Well, three. Well, I can't Which talk. Going? Three, two, one. Oh, are you going on <laughs> one? So we also want to see some stuff shake, but we don't know whether if you shake that, you don't need to shake the camera. Because if you shake that and the camera at the same time, it might look like nothing's moving. <laughs> and that would be incredible if they both <laughs> synced up. up perfectly. So, yeah, so let's have a look. So, all right, you do a bit of shaking. Obviously, you fine, do fine. And then I do a bit of shaking as well. Better? Worse? I don't know, it's all shaky. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> I can't it's see. Don't have a look at it. Don't have a look. Have a look at it. And then finally we need like the rest of the environment to move. It's no, it's no good if I'm doing all this. Knock them pillows off. If, if nothing's then moving. Move Not one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so then we might need to like rig up some stuff for like string to like move, to like move. Oh, they're attached to the wall. They're attached to the wall. Right. In uh, case of earthquakes. I'll get some string. So I thought we are doing earthquake, not ghost. What's... Looks just like a possessed tissue box. Yep, possessed mate. That's nothing like an earthquake. What's, what kind of puppeteering is an earthquake then? Why would it just voluntarily float off the table? Why is it going up? Who is controlling this thing? Yeah? Nah. <laughs> I think the main problem might be that that didn't move, but that did. That's heavier though, isn't it? Well, what about this? All right. And till. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's just, it's about no. getting, you know, I might need separate strings to pull and things like that. You know? I think we basically learn everything we need to learn. Cool. What do you say we, uh, Make an earthquake. Scientists have begun digging a tunnel to the Earth's core in the seemingly random location of southeast England. A spokesperson said, There definitely won't be any catastrophic earthquakes localised under one particular house. A statement which many are calling weirdly specific. Now, over to the weather with Julie.
Chris's Onion Emporium, we chop onions so you don't have to. How can I help? What? Jack had a very localised earthquake and fell into a chasm to the centre of the earth. Is he okay? He's... dead. Okay. Um... Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Jack! No. Why? Why? We're here today to remember Jack. He was... Oh, wow. Um... Yeah, uh, he was a great guy. Uh, he did loads and loads of things. Great life. He's dead now. Uh, rest in peace, mate. Uh, anyone for the pub? <laughs> <laughs>